Um, a lot of it will probably be new to you. Once again, this is Jordan Adler coming to you from Mount Charleston. I was in uh, Jerome, Arizona this past weekend celebrating my birthday with a bunch of friends, and now I'm back here up in the mountains of Nevada where there's lots and lots and lots of very deep snow, and it is March 11th, and there's no sign of it letting up. In fact, they're predicting more snow tonight, and we've got nine feet of snow all around. In fact, I don't know if you can see, the, see this, but... I'm gonna turn this around and see if you can see how deep that snow is. Look at that. It's pretty crazy. So anyway, I think we're just gonna go ahead and get, get started. And tonight's, uh, tonight's call is really called Tips and Tricks. I've got some ideas, and I'm actually gonna share uh, my screen with you quite a lot tonight so that you can see my phone screen and my computer screen. I wanna show you a couple of things. First thing I wanna do is I wanna share my computer and show you some cards that I've been sending. Um, and just give you some thoughts on different things that you can do. First thing I want to mention is that most people, uh, and this is something that a lot of people miss, most people will not sign up until they've received um, anywhere from two to five cards. Now, some people sign up on the spot. Uh, some people need to think about it. Some people need to uh, receive a card in the mail, and some people need to receive multiple cards in the mail. And so, what I like to do is I, I, always, I always send them a card when we're together, either on Zoom or in person. I'm, I'm going to send them a personal card with a picture. But then I also have a couple cards that I've created and saved in my campaigns. And I'm going to show you a couple of those that I like to send um, to people that, as a follow-up. And sometimes I'll send them all at once. In fact, the guy that signed me up, he sent me a, a bunch of cards in two weeks. And so what I like to do is I, I want to make sure that the person receives two or three cards from me it just has a bigger impact. I don't know why. Um, it has a, 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 um, a stronger stickability factor. In other words, when you send multiple cards to people, they tend to keep their head in the game just a little bit longer, and sometimes that's, that's what it takes. So the first card I usually send them is either if I get their business card or if I connect with them online, I get their mailing address and I mail them a card. Usually I grab a picture from Facebook and I say something nice. I look for a way to a reason to compliment them in the card. But then I have a few cards that, I, and you don't need many, if you just have like two or three or four go-to cards that are in your campaigns that you can then quickly send to somebody um, as a follow-up card. And I, I like to do it right away. So if you put a gift in it, it takes an extra day anyway. So they get the first card and then, you know, a day or two later they get the next card. So I'm just gonna share with you my uh, computer screen. And so just a moment, you'll see Facebook. And I'm actually gonna go to my send out cards here. So you should see my send out cards here in a few seconds. There we go. Now, what, I'm gonna, what, I've, what I've done is I've created, I'm gonna show you two of them. I'm gonna create a I'm here for you card and I created a random acts of coffee card. And these are cards that are campaigns. So I can send them from my phone or I can send them from the computer. And I'll show you, I'll do one from the phone and I'll do one from the computer. So um, let's say for example, um, Oh, uh, who could I, I just uh, signed up a guy just recently that I want to send, let's see, what was his name? He's got a text message from him actually tonight. Hold on just a second. His name is, you know what? I'm going to send it to Greg Breyers. I'm going to send it to Greg and Melanie. So watch this. I'm going to go to campaigns over here on the left, and then I'm going to go to my campaigns up here on the left, and then I'm going to click on random acts of coffee. Now this is an idea, this is a tip, and, and I highly recommend that you do this, is create two or three, they don't, they don't have to be super creative, but they can have a gift or not, but create them as a campaign. Click on campaigns and then click on that little pink plus button on the upper right, name it and say, create a card and save it. I have a card um, that, I'm gonna open this, and it's got a Starbucks card attached to it, it's a $10 Starbucks card, and I'm just gonna hit send order up here. Um, pink button, follow the pink buttons, hit select, hit create. And so this, this could be a second card that you send to somebody, and I, a lot of times I'll send this card. So the front of the card says, given enough copy, I could rule the world. And this is an image that I created, and I'll show you how I created that shortly. And then inside the card, it says, I believe in random acts of coffee. It's going to insert the person's first name. It's going to say, hope you're having a great week. Enjoy, Jordan. And then it's got my phone number in there. And um, then when I'm ready to send it, I hit add recipients. 
And then I just type in who I want to send it to. Who is the guy I just signed up? Can't think of his name right now. I'll put in Daryl, or actually not Daryl. I'm gonna put in uh, I'm spelling him something wrong. Oh, wait, hold on. Am I in my account? Let me make sure I'm in my account. Yes, I'm in my account. Okay, link again. I'm going to go to campaigns. I'm going to go to my campaigns. I'm going to type in random acts of coffee. Random acts, open the campaign, click send order. Somebody's texting me and coaching me, I'm sure, on what I did wrong. Add recipient. All right, Melanie. You have to be able to spell the name right to pull the person up. There they are. Right there, I'm gonna hit done. And I go to the bottom, there's Greg and Melanie, and I'm gonna hit ready to send right there, and I'm gonna send it. So the, the Starbucks card's $10, the card is costing me 99 cents because I'm on the Elite Plus and I've used up my 100 free ones already. The shipping is 55 cents and there's a $2 insertion fee on gift cards only. So I don't have to go to the Starbucks, I don't have to go to the store and get a card, it's cost fully customized with their name and I hit send and that card will be sent. Now, I, that's a card that I've used hundreds of times and so, um, and I'm going to show you another one, but I'm going to do that one from my phone. And so you can see that. But th this is just an example of how I can quickly get three cards out to somebody, two or three cards. Because the first card I send them when I'm doing the demo, they watch me do it. And then the second card and the third card I either send from my phone or my computer. I might do it later that night. I might do it on the run when I'm on my phone. But those are just a couple of ideas. So um, I, I want to take a few minutes now. I'm actually going to stop the share and I'm going to share my phone screen with you. All right, give me just a second here and in a few seconds you should be able to see my phone screen. There we go. All right, so Greg texted me. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> I just saw that. <coughs> All right, I'm going to open up the Send Out Cards app and at the bottom there's the campaigns. I'm going to click on campaigns. Let's say I wanted to send somebody that random acts of coffee. I'm going to click on the little, little uh, search at the top, and then I'll search for whoever I want to send that to. If I wanted to send that to Chad, I would – why is that not coming up? Oh, I'm in campaigns. Contacts. Chad. See, I do this too. He's in there twice. I'm going to hit the little paper airplane on the upper right. I'm going to hit send campaign. And I'm going to search for a specific campaign called I'm Here For You. There it is. It's in there four times. Okay. Uh, hang on just a second, guys. This is just one of those nights, right? Guys, <laughs> again. All right. Uh, I'm going to go here. I'm going to click. This time I'm going to click on campaigns. I'm going to click on search. I'm going to type in. I'm going to do random acts of coffee. Random. Oh, what is going on here? Random. There we go. Click on that, hit the paper airplane. Now I hit add a contact and I select a contact and I type in Ched. Click there, done, done. And now I can send him that same card. All right. Okay, here's what I wanna to talk to you about. I wanna give you another little tip here. Um, I'm going to give you a tip on third-party apps. There are uh, out there in the marketplace, there are thousands and thousands of programmers that are really smart that do work for us, but we don't have to pay them. And they show up in the form of free apps that we can load on our phone. And these free apps give us the ability to do some really fun and creative things uh, when we're, um, when we're uh, sending cards. And I use, these, I use a couple of these apps all the time. Uh, you know, there might be one or two that you like better than others. They're simple to use. They require no training at all. 
and they're free. And I know a lot of you are already using them. I'm going to give you five of them real quick, and they're free to use. Uh, I know from doing the system trainings that we've been doing, we've been doing these uh, three-hour system trainings that typically half the people in the room either have never used them or have never heard of them. I know a lot of you are using them, but a lot of you are not. And it's a really powerful way of just doing some really fun things that make people smile. And, you know, send out cards is all about acting on prompting. So the five apps I'm going to talk to you about, I'm not going to go into all of them, but I'm going to talk about two in particular, Photofunia, P-H-O-T-O-F-U-N-I-A, Photofunia is one of them. The second one is GoArt, G-O-A-R-T, and you can load these from your app store or your Google Play store. The third one is um, called um, uh, um, Word, Word Swag, W-O-R-D-S-W-A-G, Word Swag. That's a great one for taking a picture and superimposing some text on it and then saving it on your phone and adding it to a card. Uh, the fourth one is called Canva, C-A-N-V-A. And the last one I like is Pic Collage. So I use all of them, but I use Photofunia and GoArt probably the most. And I'm just going to show you these. And again, these are just little tips and tricks. I've got a, a list of things that I want to go over with you tonight. So I'm going to, uh, if you look on the left-hand side of the screen, I've got, a, I've got a, a category there called Send Out Cards. And when I click on it, I've got my third-party apps in here. And again, these were created by thousands of um, programmers that get paid lots and lots and lots of money, more money than we could ever possibly pay them to create these really cool uh, uh, apps uh, that have technology that we can use on our cards. So on the upper left, you have Photofunia. And then uh, the one on the far right is you see Pic Collage on the upper right, and then you've got GoArt on the bottom left, and then you've got Canva. I'm gonna click on Photofunia, and you've got all these templates that you can choose from. And you might have seen me do some things with this. I'm gonna click on the popular one here, and I'm gonna go, <laughs> go down to the one, um, let's see here. There's a lot that I like. I'm gonna use this business newspaper one right here. And then you see where it says choose photo. I'm gonna click on choose photo, and then I'm gonna choose an existing photo off my phone. And I'm gonna find a picture that I might wanna to send to somebody. This is a picture of my barista and my good friend Tammy up in Jerome. I'm gonna hit done. And now you see where it says newspaper right below there where it says photo funnier, you can change that. And I'm gonna call this the Jerome Times because that's where these two live, the Jerome Times. And then I go, I'm going to say, um, Jerome celebrates Abby, I'll just say Abs and Tammy, like that. And now I'm going to hit go. Now watch what happens. Tammy and Abby are on the front, and it says Jerome Times on the newspaper there. And then really tiny, right below Jerome Times on the right, it says Jerome celebrates uh, Tammy and Abby. Now, if you look on the upper right-hand corner, there's a little save button, a little arrow with a box. You just click that, and you save the image on your phone. Just hit Save Image. Now you can go to the Send Out Cards app, and you just click on Photo Cards, and then click on the one on the right, hit Create, and you can do a flat card or a two-panel, hit tap there and then go to your photos, find the picture on your phone and it will upload it right to the front of the card just like that. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? So that's just a way that you can create some really fun images. Now that's one of hundreds of uh, templates in Photofunia. So I'm gonna just show you another example. I like this one right here. Uh, you just click choose photo you either take a photo or you choose existing. I'm gonna put a picture of, uh, let's see, picture of, you could, I'll just use my own picture for now. Like that and hit done. And then I just hit the little go button at the bottom and it's gonna turn me into a cappuccino. There we go. Just like that, then you hit the little save button on the upper right, hit save image, then you go to your send out cards app, click on photo cards, click on that, hit create, tap where the picture is, go to your photos, and boom, that will be on the front of your card. And then you could do that and then send somebody a Starbucks card and that card created as a campaign and 
put a card in there and say something nice, just something real simple and something nice and make it a random acts of coffee card with your picture on there. Say, I'd love to buy you a cappuccino and put a Starbucks card in there. I think that's kind of fun. So um, those are just a couple of examples on Photofunia. Another one that I like, and, and by the way, there's, there's some other really cool ones in here. I'll just show you one more. This one right here, this neon sign, you can pick the color down below. So I'll do it in purple, and then I'll go, we love you, Cody. And then you just hit the go button, and watch what happens. This is all in Photofunia. We love you, Cody. And then you can just save that and put that right on the front of a card. Isn't that awesome? So that's a fun little app that's free. And there's hundreds of, uh, again, there's hundreds of templates in here, all different types of really cool ideas. Um, I like this one too. Choose existing. You can go crazy with this. Jerry, uh, let's see, do I, yeah, Jerry, wait, oh no, I'm not gonna use that one, hold on. Choose, choose existing. Trying to find a good one for, for that particular, oh, here we go. We'll see how this looks, done. And then I hit go at the bottom. <clears throat> Picture of Kelly, you can kind of see Nate off to the left there a little bit, but you get the idea. You can, that's a photo, that's a watercolor splash, they call that one. So that's just a couple of examples. Um, then there's another one here called Go Art. I love Go Art. Um, you, you, again, you just either take a picture or you go to your album and there's uh, a number, a whole bunch of um, uh, art styles that are available. So let's say, for example, I wanted to do a picture of my Jeep like that, and then I go and I can click on any of these down below here, and it's gonna actually stylize it. So I'll click on this one here and see what it looks like. It just takes a few seconds, you get a few quotes. Um, it takes about 20 seconds for the system to upload your photo, and then once it does, it'll pop up in that style. Check that out, isn't that cool? I love that, I'm gonna save that one. So I click the little uh, save button on the upper right, and then I just hit save down below. I like that one a lot. I'm gonna go back though, and I'm gonna do that, do that one again, but I'm gonna do it with a different, I'm gonna do that again, and I'm gonna try a different one. I'm gonna do this one right here and see what that one looks like. And again, you can do this in seconds, and you can upload it on a card and then put a heartfelt message in there and hit send. That's kind of cool too, that's a little different. I'm gonna go ahead and save that one. And you can also do it with people. So if you go album, and then you find a picture of some people that you love. How about, I'll do these guys, I'll do these guys right here. And then I'm gonna go with, uh, we'll try something a little different. Just see what happens, you just experiment with it. Let's try this one right here to see what happens. So this is just two of the five that I mentioned. That's kind of cool, I'm gonna save that one. I like that. I'll use those later when I, I'll send a card to Terry and to, uh, this is Dave Rents, he played music at my party um, this weekend. So I like that. All right, so now I wanna go back to the app and let me look at my notes here real quick because there was a few things I wanted to cover with you. All right, so, you know, Cody and Jody talked about the heart of send out cards earlier tonight, and I'm really getting into some more of some of the specifics of um, some of the things that you can do. I wanted to show you go, go art. Word swag is just one where you take pictures and you can put text on it and you can just click on the buttons to change the style of text. And it, it creates some really cool um, images that you can use on your cards. Um, and one of the things that's kind of cool that a lot of people don't know is that if you upload from your phone, if you upload a photo, you don't have to send the card, just upload the photo onto a card, and then if you go on the website on your computer, that photo will be in the cloud. It'll be in your send out cards photos, so then you can use it. So for example, um, if I'm gonna write now, because I, I saved those on my phone, I'm gonna actually click on one of those photos that I saved. I'm just gonna tap in the middle of the screen, go to my photos on my phone, I'm gonna find one of those photos 
that I just created and I'm going to save it. So I just saved it. So now if I go on my computer and I go back to my send out card site and I click on card catalog, which I'm in, and then I go to build your own. This is another little tip, customize, next. Now I just click on the camera and there's the picture right there that I just created on my phone. And the reason it's there is because I just saved it in a card here. I didn't send the card, I just saved it. So a lot of times if you have stuff that you created on your phone, because these are apps that you do on your phone, if you need them on the computer, you just load them into a card and save it and just don't send the card and then you'll be able to access it on the computer. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, and again, I, I'm really, I want to emphasize that most people need to receive two to five cards from you and the sooner you get it to them, the better um, before they pull the trigger. Not everybody, but a lot of people do. And with the free program, you could send heartfelt cards that way. You could send two or three heartfelt cards, or you could create some, um, if you're on the $147 enterprise plan, uh, you could create a few campaign cards. And then if you send a couple of those, you're, you're not going to pay for the card. You're just going to pay for the postage because you get a hundred free ones every month. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, and I want to share with you a tip on how to make sure no one ever, ever falls through the cracks. Like a lot of times you'll show the business to somebody and then six months later you go, oh, whatever happened to that guy? Or I never heard back from them. Or, you know, I sent him a few cards and, you know, I, he, there's, the, there's the, that question of like, how do you keep track of people? And one of the things that you can do is, is um, register yourself with Appreciation Pal. And Appreciation Pal is www.appreciationpalsystem.com www.appreciationpalsystem.com. It costs you $12.95, so that's like three Starbucks a month. Um, and you have access to one of the most powerful online marketing systems available in the marketplace. And it's loaded up with send out card stuff that you don't have to create. The blog is on there. You've got newsletters that you can send out. But here's the thing. If you put, when you meet somebody or you put them in, you, you send them a card, and you show them send out cards and they don't sign up on the spot, which most people don't. If you put them into appreciation pal and then just send your newsletter out once a week when you get notified, the newsletter's available, send it out. You will never, ever, ever have to worry about them signing up with someone else. And you won't ever, ever have to worry about whether they're getting communication from you because they're gonna get the newsletter, which leads them to all different types of videos about send out cards that's all coded in key to you automatically. So when you set that up, it's all, everything's automatically keyed to you. And then once a week, you get an email that uh, tells you to send out your newsletter. And the newsletter is different. And the company writes the newsletter for you. And when you send it out, you send it out to everybody that's in there. And you'll never have anybody fall through the cracks. Bart, Bart sent this to me, this idea to me this weekend um, when he was driving back to uh, Salt Lake City. He, um, he texted me and he said, uh, this is just a way that no one will ever fall through the cracks and it's like brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. So every person you meet that expresses interest in send out cards, whether they've seen it or not, they express interest, you get their name and email address, put them into appreciation pal. And then just once a week, when you get notified, send out the newsletter. If you don't know how to do it, there's short tutorials on there um, or find somebody that uses appreciation pal and they can show you. It takes seconds to do. It's very simple to use. I only use about 5% of what Appreciation Pal can do, but the stuff that I use it for is really powerful, and that's one of the things I do. Every single person I meet that's interested in send out cards, whether it's an Uber driver, or whether it's uh, somebody that I meet on Instagram, I just signed up my first, I just started using Instagram, and I just signed up my first referral partner and, and monthly subscription from Instagram, and the way I did it is I got the guy's email address, so that's easy to do, I asked him for it, put him into Appreciation Pal, and then, <clears throat> added, <clears throat> added him to a campaign and now every week he's getting the newsletter and then he contacted me because that was the that was the reminder and everything's coded to me so if somebody goes in and signs up from an email that I sent them they're gonna get they're gonna automatically be signed up with me with me they're never gonna fall through the cracks so if you set one up for yourself it's $12.95 a month no contract www.appreciationpalsystem.com I highly recommend it um, and uh, it's really fantastic. So uh, let's see. 
I want to talk. I want to show you something else that I uh, that I love. That's a a really great way of. It's just a great relationship builder. And, uh, you know, for many years, um, when you take a family, long before technology, when you would take a family vacation, you would go into the gift shop and you'd buy a little stack of 10 or 20 or 30 postcards and you'd sit for hours and write postcards to people. And basically those cards are like, nah, 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 I'm here and you're not, but you're sending these postcards out to people, right? Everybody used to do that. And if you didn't do it, you felt guilty for not doing it. And then, you know, technology came along and Facebook and all that, we stopped doing it. But what I like to do, and I know a lot of you already do this, but it's just something to be aware of, it's a consciousness thing, is whenever I'm at an event or, or you know, doing something, I like to create a card of, around that event and send it to some of the people from the event. And I'm actually gonna show you from my phone because it's really cool, you can just do it from your phone so quick and you can send it to multiple people. I mean, I'd actually send the card because I've already sent a card similar to this, but I wanna show you how it works. So I'm gonna, again, share my phone with you and uh, I'll just show you how I build this thing. So I go to the app, and let's say I let's say you just you, you were just at an event. It might have been a send out cards event. It might have been a generic event like a Tony Robbins event. And you've just taken a bunch of pictures and you got some business cards for some people from some people. You've got some addresses. So what you might do is you know you might go to just because and find a, a template that 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 works good and. You just hit create on the upper right and then you just tap on the picture and go to your photos and uh, actually I've got some in the cloud that I'll just show you as an example since I so I don't load them again and you maybe you put this this picture on the front of the card let me adjust that let me see if I can like that see how that there we go just like that so that's going to be on the front of the card, and then you go on the inside left, and you click the two the, the tiny little icon on the bottom right that has the square in the pen, and you know then you just pick a template, uh, maybe like that, so you can put two pictures in there, and so you go to your again you go to your photos, and you find another picture from the party that you think is a fun picture, and then you find another picture from the party. Whoops, you find another picture from the party that was uh, what that was kind of a fun picture. Save that, so that's on the front of the card, that's on the inside left. Then you go on the inside right, and maybe on there you do a full bleed, and you find another photo. Let's see. We'll put this one here, on there, save. So now that's the front of the card, that's the inside left, and you notice there's no, there's no text in here, and that's okay, it's like a little photo, it's like almost a tiny photo album. Now I'm gonna go on the back of the card and I'm gonna change the back of the card to another, photo, to another photo panel. In fact, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do a full bleed on the back. Again, go to my cloud photos and I'm gonna put this picture of my home on the back like that. So that's the front of the picture, the card, inside left, inside right. Now let's say I wanna send it to the people that are in the card. So I hit the little paper airplane on the upper right. Now I can hit add a contact and I can select a contact and I could send this card to Warren and Diana. And then I could also send the card to Terry and Tammy because they're in there. Terry and Tammy. And then I could also send the card to Jeff and Lisa. Jeff and Lisa Wick. Like that, done, done. So now you see right in the middle of the screen there, that card is gonna to go to Tammy and Terry, Warren and Diana, and Jeff and Lisa. And now I go on the bottom and I hit continue, and it's gonna, the card is gonna cost me, it's total $4.62 to send all three of those cards, and that includes the postage. That's like ridiculous. That's not, if I bought a card at the store, it would cost more than the $4.62, and I'm sending three cards that are customized with photos. But again, it's like every day looking for those opportunities to celebrate people's lives, however you do it, looking for those unique opportunities to get a card in the mail. And honestly, um, if I were, even if I were on a really tight budget and I, and I could only afford 150 bucks a month, I'd be on that plan and then I would, I would, I probably wouldn't send, if I can only do 150, 
I wouldn't send gifts. I would just send as many cards out as possible and use up all my cards. And obviously there's some postage on that. So it'll be a little more than uh, 150, but get those touches out. And, and I, I highly suggest sending more than one card to people, especially that are looking at the business and then look like Cody and Jody showed tonight. Just look for those opportunities to celebrate people every day. So I just, I like that idea with events, parties, baby showers, um, you know, rehearsal dinners, all those kinds of things. Create little photo montage cards that you can send to people and you can even use your third party apps to do some of that. Pick Collage has some great collage apps that you can use. Um, I want to share with you uh, how to, if you're, if you're still using points, we have a brand new system. I really want to suggest that right now, like don't wait, um, pick 10 or 20 people, send out some gifts to those people. If you need to add some expense or if you've got a lot of expense and not very many points, buy some points, but get those down to as close to zero as possible quickly. Like do it in two days or one day. Get those down to as close to zero as possible and then contact the company, contact customer support and tell them you want to zero out. Um, if you're not, if you're newer in the company and you were never on points, this conversation means nothing to you, but I know there's a bunch of you that are still using points and I'm going to just urge you to get out of points for a couple different reasons. One is you're going to like the new system so much better using it that way and you'll run, you won't run into the glitches that you're probably running into now. If you're, if you're on the old system and the new, you're probably because you've got two systems that are talking to each other that don't speak the same language. So get out of that business. I want to highly recommend that you do that. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about, <clears throat> wow, we're almost out of time, aren't we? All right, I want, to, I want to talk about two things real quick. What do you do when somebody asks about the comp plan? People say, well, tell me about the comp plan, and a lot of times people go into freeze mode. They panic, right? So you don't need to panic. Um, there's a 3 minute and 33 second video that you'll find in the resource center under videos. And so when you go to your Send Out Cards website, on the upper right-hand corner is your name. If you click on your name, you'll see Resource Center. Click on Resource Center, scroll to the bottom, you'll see Videos. Click on Videos, and at the very top, you'll see the Compensation Plan Overview. It's three minutes and 33 seconds. Just copy the link and text it over to them or email it over to them or Facebook Messenger it over to them. And I don't answer questions about the comp plan. I say, I'm gonna send you a three-minute video that explains the whole thing. And in nine out of 10 times, that's all it takes to satisfy their need for to know what the comp plan is. So just, I don't answer questions about it, I just send them that. Um, another thing is in downloads in the resource center, again, your name on the upper right, click on it, click on resource center, go to downloads, there's a, a document in there that explains in detail the entire compensation plan. But I don't answer questions about it, I just send them the information, they go through it and they have everything they need. Um, simple explanation is if you sign up two $97 customers per month, uh, do that for, uh, a year, just two a month, uh, you, at the end of the year, you got a $500 residual check in your mail. Uh, if, you sign up, uh, if you sign up one a week uh, for a year, um, you're looking at a, a $2,000 a month residual check after 12 months. That's just signing up one $97 customer per week. If that was your job to sign up customers, you get fired. So uh, the last thing I wanna say tonight is it's never been easier to sign up customers or referral partners. Since I've been with the company, it has never been easier. Uh, if it's not happening for, happening for you, it means you're not showing it enough. So we, meaning you and me, are responsible for momentum. Uh, the company's not responsible for momentum, we're responsible for momentum. Uh, it's us and no one else. <laughs> if you want to create momentum in your group, it starts with you. So first, start bringing in one to four new customers and referral partners per month, and then be the example that you want others to follow. In fact, my one of my mentors in my last company taught me, he said, um, you want to do what's worth duplicating. And what he would mean by that is you only want to do what you want other people to duplicate. And if you don't do those things, then how can you expect other people to do those things? So um, you want to be a great example for your group. And I try and be a great example for the group. I'm personally showing the business multiple times a day because I'm not going to ask people in my organization to do something that I'm not willing to do myself. So I'm consistently signing up now almost one person a day. And the reason is because I'm showing the business multiple times a day. Again, I've never seen it easier. So the only thing that's standing in the way uh, between where we are right now in momentum or where you are right now in momentum on your team is you being a great example for your group and setting the pace for your group. Become a pace setter. 
So that pretty much wraps up the call for tonight. Thank you for joining me and uh, hope you got a few ideas. I know it was a little rough getting started, but hope you got a few ideas to take you into the week and uh, we'll talk to you next week. Take care. By the way, next week, I'm going to be doing this from, I don't know how it's going to work, but I'm going to be out at a campground in Sedona and I'm going to be doing the call from the campground. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, good night. Have a great night, everybody. Great week and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.